All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Imanshu, and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass. And in this tutorial, after all the theoretical knowledge, understanding all about JavaScript, and doing a lot of quizzes, and understanding some groundwork, and building our foundation, we are ready to begin and create our first Lightning Web Component. All right, we are going to start small. We are going to build just a welcome banner as our first LWC component. And yes, this would be a start of something big, and we are going to develop on top of it as as and how we proceed with the lectures all right great i have vs code available here and i i saw a lot of you already posted that yeah you are ready to go and you have vs code set up at your side which is amazing what i would encourage doing is having an org for yourself a developer edition org and setting up your project folder so that you can also code pretty much everything that i do you also try to do it on your own here all right great so to actually start off to create a lightning web component what you can do is simply say command shift p or a control shift p on your vs code right and you can type in lightning web component even before you complete your typing you will see this option that's called create lightning web component all right i'm going to click on this button and that says enter the desired file name so always remember that the casing should be camel cased for naming your LWC components. See, I've called it welcome banner, the W is small and the B is capital. All right, always ensure that you follow this nomenclature. I'll press enter and it will ask me where do you want to store this file by default. You just want to store it in the LWC folder that's automatically chosen. You can just go with it. All right, and that creates your LWC component that you see on the left side on the file explorer, okay? If I, what I'll also continue doing is actually, you know, take you through VS code as well so that you don't feel, you know, lost. So on the left panel, you see the Explorer, you see the project structure inside force app main default. When I click on default, it opens up everything. And inside LWC, here sits your very first lightning web component. Okay. If I click on this component, there are certain files available here. We'll look at it, but for now, don't worry about it. You have a JS file, JavaScript file something that we understood and learned a bit and you have a meta file all right so what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to say welcome to the world of salesforce makes sense all right i'm going to just put this text here in between the template tags don't worry about it for now but this is the tag i'm going to put because this is html let me just say that you know i will use the heading tag all right and i'm going to just close my text within the h2 tag which is nothing but a heading tag all right that's pretty much all i want to do and i'll just go ahead and set up something for you don't have to worry about it in terms of what i'm doing but i'm just going to go ahead and add a target for my lightning component all right so you don't have to worry about what are we doing here just be with me i'll just explain pretty much everything to you all right i actually want to see this on the app page and let's say maybe even a record page or a home page so i'm just going to put those parameters here again nothing to worry and i'll save and i'm just going to say deploy all right as soon as i deploy it this is deployed fine and just created a lightning web component in the org which org which is the org that is configured here as the default org if i go back to salesforce this is my org right here and remember from the previous lecture we enabled the debug mode what i want to do is i want to just let's say go to maybe uh, home let's see if i can edit this page yeah all right i'm just going to edit this page for myself and let's see on the left panel am i seeing the welcome banner component so you notice welcome banner is nothing but our lightning web component all right i'm going to just go ahead and put it uh, is it it's not allowing me to put it anywhere that's okay let's probably use some other application because this is pretty much standard from salesforce maybe what i'm going to do is i'm going to just go ahead and create a new application and we'll create things there so let's go to setup on the quick find box i'll say app manager all right and i'm going to just go ahead and say new app so i'm going to create a new lightning app which is on the right side here the button and i'm just going to call it lwc masterclass all right that's fine i'll just say 
put choose something here and that is going to be the color here and lm is nothing but l and m from the title that we put i'm going to say next and i'll leave everything as is i'm going to say next i don't need a utility bar i just need the home tab maybe yes so i'm just going to get the home page I, there are multiple homes available so let me just pick up maybe these two let's see which one is ours i'll say next and this is for the system admin which is our profile right now let's say next and save and finish all right i've not really included much here but what i want to do is i want to just go to the app launcher now and here under view all i should start seeing my lwc masterclass application when i click on this application that should load up my application with the home tabs so this is not lwc but this is just uh, you know okay this is some approvals what about the other home tab yeah this is better i want to edit this page i should be able to drop my lightning web component here okay so I've, I've just clicked on edit page and here again instead of standard you have a custom section available the welcome banner is showing you can also just you know search it like this all right welcome banner i'll just drop it and you see here i can drop it and now it has just dropped here and we can see that welcome to the world of salesforce makes sense is available i'm going to say save i'm going to say activate and i'm just going to activate this page for pretty much everyone all right assign as org default save perfect click on save again just to be double sure and now if i go back and i click the home button let's refresh all right so now that it has reloaded the page i can see that welcome to the world of salesforce makes sense is showing up here and that is pretty much coming from your lightning web component all right so very very simple very 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 uh, decent start to our thing but yes that right there is a home page where you have just dropped a lightning component so kudos to that all right so what you can also do is just create a welcome banner for yourself put anything on the message as i put here in the template tag and you can use any kind of header heading right and just tell me that you are you are able to welcome yourself to the world of salesforce makes sense all right cool that's all i wanted to cover here don't worry about the js or the things that i wrote here all of it will be explained so you won't be nothing will go unnoticed from our eyes and we'll pretty much learn everything all right great i will talk to you in the next one bye